Well, we've had a lot of focus on the southern border, the U.S. border with Mexico and illegal crossings that have been absolutely historic. But agents in the north say that they're seeing a huge increase right now of more than 700 percent of people trying to cross from Canada into the U.S. illegally. Dre Clark is in New York now with more. Dre. Hey, Adrian, good morning. We're here live outside the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Office here in Lower Manhattan. And agents here are keeping a very close eye on what's happening there at the northern border with the understanding that some of those individuals who are crossing it into the U.S. illegally could very well end up here in New York City. Meanwhile, the U.S. Border Customs and Border Patrol says uh, more people have crossed into the U.S. illegally at the Canadian border in the last three months than the last two years combined, so it is a substantial number. In fact, these are some of the Twitter pictures that the agency posted here, and you can see people dashing across the border in the dark there. The report of the increased crossings is coming from the Swanton sector, which covers the Canadian border crossings into Vermont, New Hampshire, and New York. Border Patrol agents working the sector says from the beginning of October all the way through the end of December 2022, there's been a 743% increase in apprehensions and encounters with people trying to cross the border illegally compared to the same time period a year ago. There are reports last month that agents arrested more than 400 people from 19 different countries trying to cross into the U.S. illegally. And also keep in mind, this time of year, that area of the country uh, gets extremely cold with single-digit temperatures, and some people have actually frozen to death trying to cross the border. In a news release uh, to News Nation, the agency said this, Border Patrol agents tasked with detecting, identifying, and apprehending individuals attempting to unlawfully cross the border end up rescuing and rendering potentially life-saving aid, all while the agents are selflessly placing themselves uh, in harm's way. Recently, on January 19th, the agency says a family of four, including a teenage son and an infant, were found frozen to death inside their car just 50 feet away uh, from the U.S. border. As for why there is this sudden surge happening right now, uh, agents say they don't know, the, they can't pinpoint the exact reason why, but we do know there is a shortage of Border Patrol agents. One other note really quickly here, Allie Bradley, who's been doing a fantastic job covering the southern border, reached out to a source who works the northern border, and that person told her that a lot of the Border Patrol agents who are working there in the north were transferred to the south, and now the cartels and human traffickers had figured out soft spots along the northern border, and they're taking advantage by bringing people across the border into the U.S. illegally. So it's quite an extensive operation, Adrian. And it's not just happening now. It's been happening. It's just that all of the focus has been on the southern border. My sources uh, with Border Patrol are saying exactly the same thing, and that right now the northern border is vulnerable because there's just not enough people there to man all of those folks who want to come over illegally. Now, Dre, I have to ask you, earlier you showed us this long line of people at the ICE uh, office, at the immigration offices. Do you know if those uh, were particularly those who came uh, seeking asylum and had already received documentation that they had a hearing, or were they in line hoping to get a hearing? No, those individuals you saw earlier this morning, that line, by the way, is no longer here. Many of those people did not get a chance to go inside, so they'll be back out here again tomorrow morning. Uh, no, they are desperately seeking an appointment with ICE. They are trying to get the process going, uh, but there is an incredible backlog. So the only thing they can do is to get up in the wee hours of the morning, midnight, 1 o'clock, come out here in the freezing cold and stand in line for hours and hoping they can be in that first group of three, four, or 500 people that will get a chance to go inside the office. But if there is a cutoff and eventually they have to turn people away, this is a process that goes on Monday through Friday every morning. Uh, it's a line full of individuals uh, who are just desperately uh, trying to get their asylum approved here. But it is a long and arduous process, uh, but they're doing the best they can to try and keep this process moving along. There's a long line of people waiting in that line. Thank you so much, Dre. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.